to eight floors. Uh, major flames are coming out of the, let's see, the north side and also the east side of the building, yes. And it was very loud explosion followed by flames, and it looks like the building is still on fire on the inside. Um, which building are we talking about, the one that's westernmost? Um, let's see. Yes, sir. So it's coming out on the north side and the east side of the building in the westernmost tower. That's correct. Um, you're, at, you're over in Chelsea. Um, did you hear the explosion oh, from yes. your position? Yes, we did. As a matter of fact, we, we heard it, and and because I was just like standing there pretty much looking out the window. I didn't see what caused it or if there was an impact. So you have no idea right, right oh, now? Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> Right. Oh. oh, my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Oh. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. Oh my God. It's right in the middle of the building. This one into the east tower. Yes. Yes. Right in the middle of the building. And right now, that, yes, that was definitely looked like it was on purpose. You saw a yes, plane? Yes, I just saw a plane go into the building. Why do you say that was definitely on purpose? It, because it just it just flew straight into it. There's not it didn't look like it was uh and it didn't look like a commercial jet. It was a smaller plane. It was definitely a smaller plane. Um can you characterize the the scene down there right now for us? Now on the Yeah, as you can look down to the street yes, from on, your vantage point. On the second building, I think that we the further one, the east side um, there it is looks like it's about uh, I would say 15 floors lower than the first building and there is now flames coming out of that building as well they're both completely on fire now I'm, I'm looking at um, at what was the uh, West Tower mm -hmm. and it looks like the um, the fire on the north side of that tower is a little bit lower but it looks like it's the same building you're saying it was the other tower that absorbed the second That's impact? what it looks like exactly from my perspective um, Don King, our director, if I could ask you to widen out and give us a shot of both towers, because I can't, I, we can't tell from this vantage point. Oh, okay, that is that is on the second tower. Yes. It is on on the east tower. Um, mm -hmm. Teresa, hang on with us one second. We're gonna uh, we're gonna re rack the tape of when we were talking to you to see if we can tell. Okay. Um, we can't see anything. We can't see a second plane in the picture. There we see the explosion. Yes. It there we see the explosion. Hit it. Here we are. We're we're we're, we're trying to re-rack the tape right now. Um, Teresa, do you have a vantage point to the ground from where you are? Uh, y yes, I probably could go down. No, I'm not asking you to go down. Okay. I'm asking if you can see it. Oh no, I I cannot see the ground. As a matter of fact, there's there's too many buildings in the way. I can probably see just up about. Um, I would say uh, up a third of, I can see the top two thirds of the building. Uh huh. And and how much of that top two thirds do you do you see? Um, do you see flames? Do you see damage? Uh, I would say middle of the second building and the top fourth of the first building. Okay, Teresa, stay with us. We're going to look for that tape one more time. Okay. We're going to re rack the tape here and see if we can't see um, a plane. Oh, yeah, we comes. see it right now. We see a plane right now coming in and impacting on what would appear to be the north side of that tower, of the westernmost tower, mm -hmm. and hitting about uh, 10 to 15 stories below. Teresa, let me ask you to hang on with us for a second while I talk with um, another gentleman who is an eyewitness, Richard Davis. Mr. Davis, good morning. Good morning. This is Bryant Gumbel. Yes, sir. I'm at uh, 59th and 5th. Where are you? Uh, I'm at uh, 50th and uh Fifth, but I'm facing south on the 39th floor. You're you're facing south. So you have a clear vantage point. Yes. Talk to me about what you see, if you could. Uh, the first plane looked like a 737. Uh, it flew right up the middle of Manhattan. It was clearly too low. I noticed it uh, by the time it is passing the Empire State Building, and uh, noticed that it was too low. It was appeared to be absolutely nothing wrong with the plane, and then it very deliberately. Uh, flew into the side of the World Trade Center. Why do you say very deliberately? Because uh, the pilot aimed right for the building, and there was nothing wrong with the plane. The plane did not appear to be in any trouble whatsoever? None whatsoever. And we're talking about a commercial aircraft, a 737? It, it appeared to be a 737. I can't 
be absolutely certain. No, obviously, I'm, a, I'm not asking you to be an aviation expert, but, but clearly what, what you saw, or what it, you say you saw, was not a small aircraft. It was not a small aircraft. It was a small commercial aircraft, like a small Airbus or a 737 Boeing. And that was the Two first plane? Two-engine jet. That, that, did you... Did you see? Here's where here, uh, Mr. Uh, Davis. We're looking at a um, at a tape replay yeah. of the second plane boring into the building. Um, hard for us to tell exactly how large an aircraft it is there, or whether or not that was intentional. Um, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Believe me, it's a, it was intentional. We saw the second one come up to Hudson and veer into the second building. Why do you say the second was intentional? Uh, because it was flown very deliberately. There appeared to be nothing wrong with the aircraft. It was flown very deliberately into the building. Have they, um, have, have, you don't, obviously you're at 50th, you don't have any vantage point down there. What, what's everybody else talking about there who has the same vantage point? They see all the same thing you did? Uh, yes. Well, I saw, the, the others did not see the first one, but there were several people in my office when the second one came in. Yeah, we're looking at the second one boring in right now and it does not seem to be wavering in any way or seem to be banking to avoid uh, the tower in any I, way. I'd to say it could hardly be a coincidence that two airplanes fly into the World Trade Center within minutes of each other. Yeah. On a clear day. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a terrible scene right now. Yes, the towers are look terrible. Wow. Wow. Um, Miss Renault, are you still on with me? Theresa Renault? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you can you tell us if the scene has changed from which from your vantage point? I would say from my vantage point right now, it uh, looks like there are very very few flames coming out of the first tower. Still a lot of smoke. Uh, the second tower, we can still see flames coming out of the window, the north window, uh, and a lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. It, the, the tops of the building are covered in smoke. Um, and from your vantage point, you can't see anything of what's happening on the ground. No, I cannot. I hear a lot of sirens out on the street right now. Um, you could, one thing that you can see in the windows uh, is all of the emergency system lights. That was one thing we could see all of them were blinking off and on in the first tower when that happened. Uh, and I can't see them anymore. The second tower, I cannot see any emergency lights in the building yeah. blinking. All right, I'm going to thank you both right there and, and pass along the word that we are getting from the FBI that at this point the FBI is trying to confirm, trying to confirm that this was an intentional act. Um, at this point, it's, it's, it's pure speculation. Mr. Davis has, has told us of what he saw and that it appeared the, uh, the first plane, um, a large aircraft, uh, bored into the westernmost of the two uh, towers in intentional fashion. Um, and while, uh, while we were speaking moments ago, a second plane, hard to identify the size of it, bored its way into the easternmost tower. So we have uh, two crashes. Here's a different angle of the same plane. You see it off there on the left. Um, boring. Yeah. Uh, boring into there. Um, but again, at, at this point, um, it's, it is restricted airspace, it is a clear day, um, so the suspicions are high that these are intentional acts, but the FBI at this point is still trying to confirm that these are intentional acts. We have another eyewitness on the phone. Sir, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Gumbo. How are you? Um, I'm fairly frightened, I have to say. Where, uh, give me your name, if you would. My name is Frederick Schneider, sir. Mr. Schneider, where are you? I am on Liberty Street, which is the same street that the Trade Center is on. I'm on the south side, and the Trade Center is on the north side. My office is on the 24th floor, so I have a very clear view of exactly what happened this morning. And I've been here for about two hours, so I've been watching it unfold. Two hours? Yes. I got to my office at 7 this morning. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. But tell, tell me about the timetable of when um, things started to go terribly bad this morning. Well, Mr. Gumbel, at about 8.50 this morning, there was an explosion. I heard it first, and then my building, which is 51 stories tall, shook and rocked. And then I saw a plume of flame shoot out of the Trade Center over the Hudson River. And then I saw the plane that had crashed into the Trade Center uh, fall down, and then it disappeared behind a building that blocks my view. 
um, there was a tremendous amount of smoke, and then it started to rain huge pieces of paper. And the paper continued to come down.